David, I'm sure discipline's a word that's been spoken a lot in the changing room about. Yeah, I know. Tough results. Obviously, we, we outscored them. And like I said, discipline is down today, so very disappointing. When, when you're out there in the heat of the battle, obviously you're not trying to give away penalties, but how frustrating is it? I think the most frustrating thing was uh, every time we scored, we gave away a penalty off the kickstart and uh, off the restart, and we just couldn't adjust on the field. Um, we just kept giving away penalties, the same one every time, so it's just very frustrating and something we're going to look on. Was that a technical thing? Is it a tactical thing, or what do you think it was? It was just pretty poor on our part. We needed, we needed to adjust, um, just missing some cleans, including myself, and they were just turning us over and giving Flood easy three points, so very, not, very frustrating. You mentioned the three tries you scored. I guess it was almost a, a microcosm of the season. So much to be positive about in the tries you scored and, and just frustrations going the other way. Yeah, no, at, at times I thought we defended really well and we looked in control. And um, as I said, they only scored one try, one through the middle there. So, uh, yeah, just discipline <laughs> this is the main word of the day. You, you mentioned defence there, though. We can pick up on positives there as well. I was going to touch on that, obviously, to keep them out. It was an opportunistic try, wasn't it? It wasn't a failure in system. Uh, how pleased were you guys with that effort tonight? Oh, no, obviously we're chuffed, but uh, everyone's just disappointed with the result. You know, we didn't come here to uh, just play a part in this uh, thing. We came here to win and cause an upset here at St James's Park, so the boys are very disappointed. Four games to go. How easy is it to pick yourselves up from this and do something with these last four games as you want to? Oh, it's tough, you know. Obviously, a lot of people are leaving. There's obviously been a lot of up and down at the club lately, but, um, you know, we just try and stick tight as a group. Like I said, we've got four games there, two home games, and we're really looking forward to those and making Franklin's Gardens a fortress again for next season.